to episode four of my introduction to the theremin series. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about some topics that we've already covered, but in greater detail, specifically the volume antenna. I believe the volume antenna, or more specifically, the volume antenna's control knob is probably the most neglected item on the theremin. If you've ever watched some of the performances by other thereminists, you may have seen thereminists having to play with very wide movements of their, of their hands. A lot like that. And the problem with that is you tend to lose a little bit of stability when you're, when you're playing. It can really impact the intonation. And so to get around that problem, you, you want to turn your volume knob to its maximum sensitivity so that you don't have to move your hand quite as much. Also gives you much better staccato. And you have more, much more control over dynamics and you have less risk of intonation problems because the more you move your, your volume hand, the more your whole body is going to move and that's going to impact your intonation. The other topic I wanted to discuss was the magnetic field in a little bit more detail than in a previous lesson. This is a representation of the magnetic field generated by the Etherwave standard and a, a, a more accurately represented the field by showing how, it's, how the notes are closer together nearest the antenna and nearest the zero beat zone, but more uniformly spaced near the center of the playing field. The Etherway Pro is a lot different. It's more uniform all the way across. You can see that we have the zero beat zone and the negative zone. And of course in the negative zone, the notes are close together, closer to the, you know, at the edge of the uh, zero beat zone. And then of course as you go further out, the notes get even further apart. Also, regarding stance, as you can see here, I like to have my pitch side foot a little closer to the pitch antenna and the volume side foot a little bit further back. That gives me a little bit better stability. And of course, my pitch side foot is pointing out towards the pitch antenna. You also want to have your theremin set at a, at a height that's comfortable for you with your forearm for your volume antenna being more or less horizontal. My playing arc generally runs about like what you see here. I basically describe a line running from the antenna to the center of my shoulder. This gives me greater control over vibrato and better access to notes. It also doesn't wear out the arm quite as much. You get a little bit more stability with your arm, a little more in the vertical position than in a horizontal position where you're having to fight gravity. And as you can see from the top down view, the playing arc centers are front around the elbow and just basically runs from the antenna to the center of mast. Just makes things a lot easier to play. Well, I hope this helps, and I look forward to seeing what you have to offer someday, and hope to see you in concert. Thank you, and have a good day.